Okay, so the weekend is here again, and uh, welcome to my channel. It's called Opening Weekend. My name is Tony. Uh, I hope you like this channel. I hope you like what you see. You keep coming back for more. Um, you know, you could like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff, uh, you know, and keep watching, of course. Uh, the the uh, concept is we go out to the movie theaters and uh, we get public reactions and some feedback. This happens to be a very important uh, weekend. Uh, a couple of weekends ago, we had uh, an important weekend for the uh, Marvel fans with Venom. And this weekend, it's an important weekend for the uh, horror fans. It's the Halloween remake 2018. Uh, so we're going to go get plenty of feedback for that. And also expanding a little wider is the hate you give. And then there are a couple of uh, small independent films that um, honestly I don't think I'm going to be able to cover. But I just thought I'd mention them. Uh, Can You Ever Forgive Me with Melissa McCarthy. Uh, a Jonah Hill effort called Mid-90s. And Ike Barinholtz and Tiffany Haddish in The Oath. So right now, though, we're going to concentrate on uh, Halloween, the big gun. Mr. King, Halloween. You feel better this week? Very. <laughs> Very happy? Very happy. Very, you didn't Very fall asleep? Happy. No, no, it was really good. Right? It was really good. Uh, what do we want to say about this without spoiling it? Mm. Was, it a thrill? was it everything you were expecting as a horror? Are you a horror fan? I am. I am. Did you see all the other ones, King? I've been watching all the Halloween since I was a little kid. Um, right. I all of them. Um, this one, I would say since probably four or five. Right. This is probably the best one. I still love the Rob, St Rob Zombie version of, of Halloween, so I believe that those were really good. Right. Um, this one was really good. Um, it, felt, it, made, it made me feel like um, back in part four, part five, but you know, in the modern era. Didn't all the sequels get a little weak as we went along, King? They did, they did, but this one was good. Right. This one was really good. So we ignore all of them. We even ignore Halloween too. I was surprised. Ah. Uh, because at the end of Halloween, uh, you know. I think it was two. You know what? Halloween 2, she gets hurt by Michael, Jamie Lee Curtis, Laurie Strode. You know, she has to go to the hospital. And Michael think, gets a hold of her. Two, I think two was probably the best one. But they ignore this that one too. Uh, I think this is the best one since two. To be honest, with you. right? I so, think three, three. Had, well, that was a different movie. That had nothing to do with this version of Halloween. Right. And um, I think one and two were the best two. Right. And two was really the best out of all of them. Right. However, I think this one is right there with two. Okay, that's high I think praise. This one is right there with two. No spoilers, though. No, no, never. Um, what else? How was Jamie Lee Curtis? Really good. Do you remember really she? I can't, I can't believe she, she got old like that. Like, well, that that'll makes, happen, right? That makes King? me feel like I'm getting old, too. I, no, I, you'll I never am. get old, man. I am. I do am. you realize, do you remember, King? Would I be telling you something you don't know if I, you know, you know she was one of our original Scream Queens, right? That's what they called her. Yes. Because yes. you went to Comic-Con. You know about Fangoria and all also, that stuff, uh, right? Um, um, true Lies. True lies, but what happened? What did they do to her after Halloween? What happened in 1980? Do you remember? Uh, Nothing but horror movies. Does King remember The Fog? Prom yeah, Night? I remember. Prom Night? Yeah, I remember The Fog. How about Terror Train? Uh, no. No? I didn't see that. I don't, if I did, I don't remember that. King, they put her in three horror movies in 1980, those three. And then in 1981, she did Halloween too. And then, you know, it was nothing but horror movies. After that, I don't think she has done any. Did she do it? Yeah, she did a couple of them. Well, she, she did some comedies, them, but, you know. But it wasn't it wasn't really um, a horror movie. Which one? Um, like I said, she came out in True Lies. She came out in a few movies, but I don't remember her like having a successful horror movie like like Halloween, like like how she did in Part Two and Part One. Well, Prom Night and The Fog was successful, you know. Ah, uh, not as much. Yeah, they were uh, hits. Nah, nah. <laughs> they were okay. They were okay. But this movie's really good. Right. This movie's really good. Um, it's good to see her making a comeback. We want to thank uh, Mr. John Carpenter, and we want to thank Jamie Lee Curtis for putting some money where their mouth is. They uh, they produced it. And for the first time in a long time, I right. have seen um, the matinee. Um, the room was filled up with people, so I'm hoping that it will do good this weekend. I'm sure it will. Oh, it's got it. Looks, it looks like it is. Yeah, I don't think Venom's going to um, be number one anymore. Nah. I don't think so. I think this weekend Venom is going to number two, and this is going to be number one. Pro oh, yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. All right, I guess that's it, King.
Well, thank Unless you. anything else you want to add. No, no spoilers. I'm not adding anything. It was really good. I'm I mean, happy because last week it was horrible. Yeah, wow. Well, you can't uh, even compare. First man, horrible. Yeah, ah, we don't have it. Let's not even bring that up. We're past that. Anybody else in the cast you want to uh, praise or criticize? Um, nah. No? Nah? Nah, I think it was. I'm not going to give any spoilers. Um, like I said, um, I think Jamie Lee Curtis. No, I mean like performance wise. Performance wise, uh, the cast was good. The right. The cast was okay. Um, it was a, there was, I don't know the name of the actor. Right. It was a little kid. Okay. Very funny. Okay. Very funny. A lot of funny moments in the movie. There's some it's comedy hard, relief. It's hard to be scared and to laugh at the same time. <laughs> but well, they, unless you're they like a. Away. They got away with it. Okay, cool. All right. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Be good. All right. This smart movie goer just saw Halloween on the first day. What'd you think? Are you a horror fan? Oh, uh, yeah. I like all genres of, uh, of movies. Right. Yeah. How was it? I thought it could have been a little better, okay. but it was okay. It wasn't bad. It, it wasn't, wasn't outstanding. Okay. So I, was I, it what you expected, or just a little? It was slow? actually a little less than I expected. Mm. I expected to be scared a little more, and okay, you know, you don't look like you're scared, easy. Ah, be surprised. <laughs> Those big guys, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? uh, what? What? Uh, well, you didn't say it stunk. Uh, what? What went wrong for you? I think the ending was a little. Uh, no spoilers. No spoilers. I think uh, it probably left you wanting more. Oh. It just it, it left you wanting more. You you kind of. Wasn't that you, a good thing then? Ah, uh, actually, I mean, from, from from my experience, from my perspective, I don't think so. I, it it just seems like there was more that could have been put in. Explored. Yeah, for yeah. a two-hour movie, I expected you know a little yeah. more. How was Jamie I mean? Lee Curtis? Did she bring it? Yeah, she was good. She was excellent. So we just get rid of all the other sequels, three, four, five, of course, three, right? Oh, goodness. That was that was a bomb. Yeah. That was a bomb. Not V bomb, A bomb. I'm surprised we ignored part two, though. We just pick it up after... Yeah, I mean... He takes a bullet or six from Dr. Loomis, right? Right, right. <laughs> right. To put it mildly, and right. then... And then we just pick up from there. We don't... We never make it to the hospital like she did in part two? Uh, no. Okay, so we no. ignore Halloween, too. Right. Okay. Um, any praise? I mean, it, it was it, it wasn't a stinker. Right. It was it was a good movie. It right. wasn't out, outstanding. Right. Uh, it was probably it it, it kind of left some, something to the imagination. Yeah. I, I I kind of expected to be scared a little more and and and, but it All was. Right. Uh, All right. Fair well, enough. It, it wasn't great. It wasn't bad. I got you. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. That's that's all we ask for. Right, fair, cool. uh, fair and honest. Thanks, got man. No Hey man, nice to meet you. You just saw Halloween. You were I one did. of the first. How was it? Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, was it better than you expected, or just about what you, you know? Expected? I haven't seen the original apparently a long time. Right. Uh, everything seemed to be worked out pretty good. Uh, suspenseful. But, um, the only thing I didn't really get was, uh, you know, didn't he get his eyes shot out in the first one at the end? I believe so. Is it, where, how does he see? <laughs> you know uh, well, I mean? this is a whole redo, right? <laughs> well, no, it's supposed to be a continuation from the first one. You know, they, all the other ones after that was supposed to be, like, wiped away. Right, they ignored all the sequels, even Halloween too, huh? Yeah. Because Laurie Strode uh, goes to the hospital and yeah. because she got hurt by Michael, and they just ignore that one too. And I don't want to give away any spoilers. I didn't see it, but you don't want to give away any spoilers, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I just, uh, it, it was good. I'll put it that way. It was a good follow-up. Okay, good. well, a good redo. Yeah. Or, well, a follow-up. It, it was a follow-up to the first original one. Right. So we just ignored... So they, they took it, I think, 30 years after... 40 what, years. 40 years after what happened the first, after the first one. Right. Uh, no complaints? The whole thing was good? No, it was good. Yeah, all the, the way through. How was the cast? Jamie Lee Curtis? Yeah, she was good. Um, so was Hawkins from the original. Nice. Okay. Who uh, who played Michael? Do you know? Was uh, it no, you, you see his face really quick. Uh, but you, you can't recognize anything. Yeah. All right. So no complaints, and you happy you saw it? Yeah, definitely. Wasn't a letdown? No, wasn't. Great. That's that's all we could ask for, man. You yeah. big horror fan, or? Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. All right. Did you see all the other ones? I did. So they didn't they didn't really need them, did they? No, not really. You all know, right. those were far fetched. This one was a good follow. Yeah. All right, good. It's about time someone made a good one, huh? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. All right, cool. I appreciate you doing this, man. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Good morning, sir. You just saw Halloween? Yeah, it was good. It was good? Yeah. It was everything you expected it to be? Pretty much. Yeah? Could have been a little bit scarier, but... You weren't scared? Nah, I'm too old to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... I like how they, they used um, some of, like, the old... Uh, scenes from right. the old movies, the 78 movie. Okay. 
they've kind of reversed it in this right. movie. I don't want to give away. Anything. Yeah, not give away to his too many spoilers. Yeah. But you were it satisfied. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Unfortunately, some of the critics said that, uh, you know, it wasn't that good. And one guy in particular who I'm really a little disappointed with, he said uh, this movie was unnecessary because uh, this ground was covered in Halloween H20. What do you think about that? Do you agree or dis disagree? H20? Yeah. Um, no, but it doesn't really follow that order. So They got rid of all the sequels. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't follow the order after H20. Yeah. So they got rid of all the sequels. They just started fresh, right, right. and it was satisfying. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. You, you a big horror guy, or? Yeah, I like horror. Yeah. Well, yeah, my daughter and I like horror. Nice. <laughs> so you weren't disappointed. No, no. How was Jamie Lee Curtis? Really quick. It was excellent. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. All right, Definitely good, excellent. great. Mm -hmm. Uh, I feel like if I ask you my next question, it's a spoiler. Maybe I should ask you off camera. Uh, do they leave the door open for like more, or is this is this it? No, it's open. It is open. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. That's all I want to know, man. Right. Thanks for coming on, bro. There he is again. Anybody recognize this gentleman? He just saw the hate you give. What do you got to say? I thought it was actually really, really good. I wasn't sure what to think when I saw the preview. I thought it was, you know, it looked a little, like, bias or like it was going to be kind of like your typical based on a book type movie, like, you know, standard, another racial film, you know, Black Klansman came up out a few months ago. That was right. really good as well. That was one of my favorites. I thought it was very, very good. Um, the acting was really well, and it explored everything from all sides, like the aspect of uh, police brutality. Right. And it mm -hmm. wasn't super biased. It had, you know, it showed all sides of what was going on with right. uh, the problems in the world and the violence and everything. And I, I thought it was a really great movie. It was one of the better films that came out this year. The poster there says it's uh, Oscar worthy. I don't know if they're just talking about the performances um, or the whole film. This year, I think they're doing something with popular film, and they're gonna have a section for more popular films, and those will be nominated. Okay. I think that'll be alongside like A Quiet Place and stuff like that. Gotcha. So I don't think it'd be in Best Picture as far as everything else is concerned, because it is a YA-based film off of a book. Right. So. We'll see what happens when it comes and to it, but... Did you hear the, the screenwriter just passed away? I think her name was Amanda Wells? Oh, really? Like I, yeah. I didn't even know that. She was only 58. Uh, the young lady in it, uh, Miss Steinberg, is it? Oh, I don't even know her name. Amanda? I think she was in The Hunger Games. That was her first film. She right. was Rue from The Hunger Games, I believe. She was just in something called The Darkest Minds. Darkest Minds. I actually thought that was okay, too. Yeah. How's her performance? It was really good. I think it was cool to have someone who's not, you know, super well known. People know her by face now, but right. she's not, you know, like an A lister right now. But right. it's nice to see up and coming. She, she may get there. And Regina her. Hall is her mom. Yeah, I'm a big fan of her. That's good. She she, good she turns well. in a good performance. Yeah. Uh, really quick, just for those who don't know, what, what's the what's the movie about? Um, it's pretty much about uh, police brutality, and um, it's about this young girl. You know, these, this black couple and the kid gets shot by the cops. Right. And it's her standing up for her friend that died. And it was really good. But it's not a bummer. It's it's kind of uplifting. Oh, uh, it's kind of both. Okay. Well, like it's, it's, it's done right. It's very emotional, but it's also uplifting as well. That's cool. Awesome. All right. Great, man. Thanks. You're welcome. I hope to see you again. Thank you.